Welcome back to Cure the Common Game. Today, in deck number 655, we are going to talk about Renar. Rainer? Renar? The Ever Watchful. Whatever, however you pronounce the Spirit Warrior's name. So for four mana, we get a 2-3 Flying Vigilance. The first card you foretell each turn costs zero to foretell. And when you exile one or more cards from your hand and or permanents from the battlefield, you get a spirit token. All right. This was the one of the two pre-con commanders. And you saw the pre-con deck. Um, it's actually pretty good. So what I have done here is I have separated it into two parts. One, the actual pre-con cards that I left in there. And then the other cards that I felt were better than whatever i don't remember what it was i took out so we're gonna start with the pre-con cards um like i said it's it's not bad um soul ring azorius signet a pair of diamonds sky and marble a mind stone a commander sphere and a burnished heart um not a lot of card draw but windfall's pretty good uh, then there is the uh, Day of Dragons, the Ghostly Prison. I, I'm speeding through these because we've already covered this when when you saw the pre-con video. But, you know, it wasn't bad, so I left a lot of it in there. Uh, Creature-wise, they had uh, Restoration Angel, Doomscar Oracle... Oh, actually, Doomscore Oracle was from Call Time. That's not in the pre-con. That's me putting it in the wrong stack. Anyway. Uh, Core Cartographer. Sun Titan. Ethereal Valkyrie. Mole Drifter. Now, this hero of Bredegard, uh, this is one of the Commander Unique cards. Um, this, yeah... This could be pretty good. Same way with uh, Stoic Farmer. Sage of Beyonds. See, we're all about foretelling, apparently. This is the foretell deck that they want us to build. Uh, and, you know, the non-creature stuff, the Tales of the Ancestors, Cosmic Intervention, Spectral Deluge, Synthetic Destiny... Whirler Rogue, I forgot. Starnham Unleashed. S Removal, you know, the Meteor Golem. Return to Dust. Curse of the Swine. Cleansing Nova. And then their non-basic lands that they gave us. Um, which, I don't know. All cards cost the same to print, right? Anyway... Tranquil Cove, Sajiri Refuge, Azorus Guild Gate, Meandering River, Myriad Landscape, Azorus Chancery, Command Tower, and Opal Palace. Now, oh, nope, I got three more. The Eerie, these are cards, uh, if you'll notice, these are not foretell cards, but Renar says when you exile any number of, you know, so. Exile cards, Eerie Interlude, Flicker Wisp, and Ghostly Flicker. Those will proc the Renar triggers as well. So, all of that being said, this is what I added to the deck. Um, uh, Darksteel Ingot and Talisman of Progress. I felt like those two needed to be in there. Um, it's a bunch of call time cards. bunch of call time cards because... It, it feels like that's kind of what you want to do. I was surprised the Harbinger, the Carfell Harbinger, didn't make its way into the pre-con. I guess the idea is not to give us everything we need in the pre-con so that we have to buy some of the product to, you know, upgrade it or whatnot. Uh, Preordain's always good. Spectral Searchlight, because I play some kingdoms on occasion. Um, and then other creatures... Couldn't believe Vega wasn't in there. By the way, the Vega deck is done. That's upcoming at some point in time. 
uh, after this deck, currently I have like seven more built in line. So, yeah. Uh, Kangi, you know, a lot of stuff flies. It, it, random stuff with Fortel, you know. Uh, Augury Raven, Scorn Effigy, Glorious Protection. This is one of the most beautiful magic cards I have ever seen in my life. Hmm. God's Hall Guardian, Cosmos Charger. That's actually done some work for me. Um, Shepherd of the Cosmos. And and then, you know what else? Exiles cards from your hand? Suspend. So the Dusk Rider, the Knight of Cersei. Can't not think of Game of Thrones on that. And then Ith, High Arcanist. Then we got more random foretell cards, you know, uh, Raven Form, Iron Verdict. Because the idea is, I wanted to dependably use that commander ability, you know. Depart the Realm, Behold the Multiverse, Warhorn Blast, K is Onslaught, Mystic Reflection, and Momentary Blink. Now, Momentary Blink obviously is not foretell. Uh, still decent nonetheless. Um, negate and disenchant uh, I mean those were like some of the first cards I put in there Doomscar I, I can see why they didn't put Doomscar in there because they probably felt this was going to be a chase rare so they didn't want to you know uh, Ether Spouse is pretty decent uh, I'm going to give this Skywhaler shot a, ch oh my, a chance <laughs> um I mean, destroy target creature with power three or greater. A three mana instant. That seems... That's almost... Murder level good. You know? Yeah, you, you get to scry one tactic on there, but... You know, a lot of stuff that you're going to care about killing is going to be power three or, or greater, so... Hmm. And then, saw it coming. Had to. And then the non-basic lands that I added were the, uh, of course, the Blue-White Pathway, Glacial Floodplain, Evolving Wilds, you guessed it, Calciform Pools, and a Reliquary Tower. And that is pretty much it. I, it is this an upgrade video? I don't, I, I mean, I, I don't know. I, uh, I didn't actually start with the pre-con. Um, I started with just the card and, and I was like, well, every foretell card that exists, it, 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 you know, it's a very linear strategy. I don't have a whole lot of uh, options, but it is what it is. So 655 done on the wall. Then it's going to be sad when I, I get that block fill up and I have to move and then the table starts being in the way and yeah anyway i do appreciate y'all watching y'all let me know what you think and uh right now it's time to shuffle and cut